Okay, this is the first lesson on Church Bells Blues by Luke Jordan. And we're in standard tuning, key of E, but I'm tuned a half step lower. So these are D7s. Uh, that's uh, C sharp. And uh, A sharp, sorry. And this is an F sharp, a C sharp, a G sharp, and again a D sharp. Okay, I'm gonna play the first, um, well, it's an intro, but it's a full 12 bars of the song. Okay, now the first line of the lyrics and also of the introduction moves between a D-shaped uh, E chord, fourth fret, and then, and that may look in the tab a bit weird, same in the third bar you see uh, a, a fret at the second position in on the B string, and you simply grab another chord, it's a, um, it's a D7 shape, moved one fret up, so it's a E flat 7, and the first string is open, so. So we're alternating between the heads. And we, we, we're moving in the middle of the second beat. That's when you move the chord, and that's the trick to it. The same with when we go back to the, uh, the, the, the D shaped E chord at the fourth fret. And notice we have an uh, alternating bass in this song. And in the first line, where we play the E's. It alternates between the bass string and the fourth string. You have to be precise about this because if you hit the, the third string, the fourth string, it will sound pretty awful. And note that the second and the fourth beat in this song are heavily accented, and especially in the vocal uh, parts. And so they are accented and also muted in the bass. Also muted because you're changing chords and that helps of course. But it gives the song a real nice bounce. have a quite a stretch to the seventh fret. Um, if you're not able to do that, you could slide up to it and go back to the chord. But I, well, I urge you to uh, to try it, and I'll give you a little trick to get a bit more spreading of your fingers. Relax your left hand, that's important, relax it. Place your other hand between the two fingers and you're gonna make a fist. So this, this hand expands and will push your fingers apart. But it's important, stay that, stay, let that left hand be relaxed and spread it. The same with the other fingers. And if you do that regularly, when you're driving a car and you have to stop for a red light, just do it. But relax the left hand, because otherwise you will hurt yourself. That's very important. So that will help you to get those far stretch bands. You see I don't have exceptional hands, it is possible, and I've seen people doing, doing it with small hands. It also helps if you would fret the chords 
with a uh, half bar, then it's easier to get there. But I prefer to do it like this. Do whatever is comfortable for you, and if it works, then it's great. Okay, in the fourth bar, we have uh, a double bass. Uh, well, the last beat ends with a bass, so we have an anticipated bass, you could say. So I'll play that fourth bar. I'm sliding into that E chord, uh, A chord, and it's A chord same we, uh, the, the same way we fretted it in the tough time song. Simply the third finger on the second string and the, the second finger on the fourth string. And the pinky slides to the third fret. Here we have a real a trademark of this song. That bend and release of that uh, fourth string, fourth fret. And I'm playing this all with a tap. Right hand tap. Back to the E. It's also a trademark lick for this song. And it helps if you tune down a half step to do that. In the eighth bar. And it's a, it's quite a bit. It's not a little bit. It's, a, it's almost to the to the next level, to the uh, almost the full tone. You see? In the third fret. It's almost the same. Then we're going first fret, second, uh, fifth string to the B7 chord. And that in the tenth bar, that C sharp 7, is simply your B7 chord moved up to the fourth fret. Exaggerating, but accenting of the second and the fourth beat again. So you, you play two strings almost because you hit it so hard with, with the accenting that the fourth, uh, the third string rings also. And you see the arrows down when we go back to the E chord. I'm hitting that with my two fingers together, held together, and the nails in the downward strap. So in the tap, you will see that only three strings are hit, but well, it doesn't matter if you hit more than that. Um, it's more a feeling than hit the right notes. The first hit, I don't, you don't hear the open E string. You can also uh, move your hand a bit so that it's muted. Okay, now let's do a verse, and you will notice that the verse is practically, practically the same as um, the first 12 bars, with some little differences. Um, I'll sing it softly, so you can hear what we're doing exactly. And I'll start with the last two bars of the previous uh, verse. <laughs> Sing. The preacher's preacher, can't you hear the sister shouting cheerily in the pulpit? Mama trying to learn my song. And that Lord under the deacon that's called my girl gone. So, what is the difference? We don't pick, but we simply. 
playing the chords, those two E chords and E flat chords, and we really accent them then and muting them afterwards. And in the fourth bar, we have a slide up, and it's not really to the seven or the eighth fret; it's just up. Just to give a, a, um, an effect, not a real defined sound of a note. Church bells are ringing, the secretary is saying, the preacher, preacher, can't you hear the sister shouting? So that's the same as the first verse, except for those. Two uh, chords which are played well shortly. And the slide we do it only two, two times. And here I might um, play an anticipated bass, like that. But not, not, always, not always, but learn it as it is tapped out. And then you can add variations if you uh, think something should be changed. Don't be afraid to change something. And then we go again to that A chord, just the same thing as we did before. And mute it. And now instead of playing the full, well, let's say, boogie-woogie figure. And here I'm playing alternate with temp and index. And then the rest is the same as in the uh, first part. changing, well, in the B7 section, so the 9 bar, uh, if you see to the, into the tap in the 9 bar, there's only a bass note. I'm adding the index up, up stroke, uh, hitting the third string. Sorry, when we go to the to the C ninth, uh, sorry, to the C sharp seven chord on the fourth fret, and in the vocals you hear that it accents the um, what I'm singing. And let's do it in the first verse. So it's stole my girl, stole my girl, and gone. So that accents the vocal line a bit more. Um, so that's it. I'll play it one more time and sing it slowly so you can hear it once more. Second church bells ring, the second third sing. The preacher's preacher, can't you hear the sister shouting? Children in the pulpit, mama trying to learn my song. Oh, sorry. Okay, that's it for the introduction and the first verse, and the next video we'll do the solos.